we lost? Are we not? Are we real? Are we turning to dust? Do you feel what I feel? Have we changed so damn much? Can we heal? You're not saying a word. Oh, it feels so unreal. Okay, so this is what I'm going to put in the oven now. We've got some of the vegetables underneath there. We've got some red peppers, onions, a little bit of pumpkin. I normally just use, I mean, it's just me, guys. I don't waste and pull out the big pan for all of this. I do not like mixing meat and vegetables on one pan. It's not my, it's not my jam. It's not my laugh, okay? But uh, because I've got the smaller pans, I normally just drizzle a little bit of the spice well, that's a bit weird uh drizzle a little bit of the vegetable spice onto my vegetables and then a little bit of oil just so that you know it doesn't burn flavor traps everything in nice okay um and then who is calling me palissa okay and then some meat so i'm gonna put that in the oven set up my camera we're gonna sit down somewhere I'm gonna show you what I picked up from Discam body care stuff and then maybe I might vlog later maybe not who knows I'm looking a little bit orange but I also feel like my hair is I'm literally blending into my hair at this point I actually pretty much like it whatever um, the last vlog I don't think I had this hair, so I don't know. Oh, family vlog. I already had this hair. Anyway, so let me set up. Let me get my smoothie. Let me sit down. Let me put some Elizabeth Arden on my lips. Eight hour cream because, wow, dry, dry. And then let's talk some. Okay? Okay. Can you tell I have a problem? Of course you can. What do you even freaking mean? Okay. Let me just oil the lips real quick maybe zoom you in a little bit how, how do I look how do I look do I look good do I do I do I really I don't know okay can you tell that I have a book problem I do do I care no do I work really really hard so that I can afford to buy myself some really nice books sure did I go crazy at bargain books because I saw three for 150 of course I did did I get three or did I get five hmm that's a good guess um so we'll talk about the books last <laughs> but last time i was doing it this came home i was sitting here so here we go you're pretty much gonna see the same things but there are new people on my channel now 
So I'm going to show you what I got. Maybe you don't know what kind of panty liners I use. Maybe you don't know what kind of pads I use. But if you follow me on my Instagram, you'll know exactly what brand of pads I use. First out is my pads that I really, really love and I've used for forever. And I did a campaign with Always, I think about two or three months ago now. July, August, September. About three months ago now I think so this is the always three in one locks and odor germs and wetness I've talked about this quite a bit on my uh, Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram I'll show you here why not why not I'm quite active on there I'm quite cool on there you know people there think I'm cool and <laughs> who am I uh, Nivea pearl and beauty and fresh musk love them um i used to love the spray on one my only problem with that one is throughout the day i really sweat quite a lot with that one it doesn't lock in the sweat like i really sweat like to such a point where the sweat i can feel it drip down my my pit and that's disgusting so i reverted back to these i only use that one when it's really cold because then it doesn't do that. But for some odd reason, when the weather is slightly warmer, it does that quite a bit. And that's disgusting. What do you even mean? Okay. Um, next out are the things for the girlies. I use Gynagod. I know some people are very anti um, intimate washes. That's fine. You know, whatever floats your boat, whatever cracks your back, whatever makes you feel good. This makes me feel good. So it keeps everything in check down there. No smells, no this. So I use Gynagod. You guys know this. Spoken about it so many times. Um, and then on days where I wear sweaters. Now, for me, I have the bottle, you know, designer perfumes and all of that. On the days where I just wear sweaters and I'm chilling in the house, I refrain from using the designer perfumes and all of that i just want something that's gonna make me smell nice especially when i'm wearing sweaters so i'll just take a body what do you call these body spray i'll just take a body spray and i'll literally just do this spray it like that and that's that's fine and one of my favorite ones growing up was this one i used to use this a lot in grade 11 and grade 12 this is how i landed the boys <laughs> and the girls maybe uh white satin by yardley oh my god i loved it so much so when i saw it i couldn't recognize it because clearly they've changed the packaging and i was like i wonder if white satin is still around and i had to look 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 for a good two minutes and then i found it and i thought i'm gonna pick this up oh ah still smells amazing amazing reminds me so nostalgic reminds me of my childhood uh and then of course the babies the girlies this is the nivea soft care shower uh gel and this is the diamond and argan oil one now i'm new to this one so i'm gonna try this one out i'm new to this one so we'll see but my favorite one is uh, the coconut and jojoba oil one this one is a fave this one is my girl this is my girlie We love them. We love them. But something new from Nivea that I really want to try out is this. This is the Nivea Naturally Good Honeysuckle Scent and Organic Oil. It's, it's a lot. Nivea Naturally Good Honeysuckle Scent and Organic Oil Enriched Oil Infused Shower Gel. Now, I picked this up because I love the oils from Nivea that you can use in the shower, the shower oil, um, because... I've got mild eczema, so in winter, my skin gets really dry. I have to always have somebody oiling my back or doing something because when I do this, oh, you can hear it. You can feel it. It starts itching up and all of that. So I saw this. I think this, I feel like this is new, but I don't know. Uh, it's got 98% of natural origin and 2% additional ingredients, and I picked up the honeysuckle one because I love anything honey, especially for the body. Mm -mm. Love it, love it. Um, picked up some eyelashes because I always, always top up on my eyelashes. My favorite set, the one for ones, I haven't found anywhere. I'm really struggling to find them. So I picked up this new set, which is 
full and bold number one two six which is the dramatic one this one looks like so pretty cute and then of course i picked up tiffany because we love her we love tiffany we always pick up tiffany we love tiff hey tiff a lot of you guys have spoken to me about my favorite Colgate and that you've tried it out. You've DM'd me saying that's a really good, that's a really good Colgate. Tepanna. I'm your plug. Tepanna. So, uh, yeah, picked up my Sensitive Pro Relief. I'm pretty sure I've got one or two spares, but I always make sure I'm not ever out of Colgate. I just remembered now that I should have picked up mouthwash. I forgot what is new nothing ever in the world um and then i picked up the palmer's Co cocoa butter um daily skin therapy it's a moisturizer that softens smooths and relieves dry rough skin which is me in winter but i can tell that uh, the weather's warming up and my skin is actually starting to respond so thank you listen if you've got dry skin the best thing you can do is just use butters. Use butter, baby. Use butter. Butter is so good for dry skin. Butter is good for black skin. Butter is just good for skin. It's really, really good. So anything with shea butter, coca butter, what, 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 as long as it's got butter, use it. It's really good. I normally use the one in the tub, which I'll try and insert a picture of it here so that you can see. I love that one. But because they didn't have it, oh Lord, love. It smells so good. <laughs> they didn't have it. It's pretty much the same thing in this, and you just kind of squeeze it out as opposed to scoop it out. You know what I'm saying? So got that too. But also for my hand cream. I also got, I actually need to do my hands because I was busy in the kitchen. And also for my hand cream, I also got the Palmer's Cocoa Butter formula as well. Softened relieves rough dry skin for hands, elbows, and knees. This is a concentrated cream. That's pretty much what it looks like. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So, so good. And the other day, not the other day, the other week, about two weeks ago, I picked up books because I was looking for something. Um, I was looking at my books, trying to figure out what to read after uh, Beneath, Under the Udala Trees, and I couldn't decide. I wasn't happy with the books that I had. And I found myself at a bargain books, some way, somehow. And when I found myself there, I kind of figured, okay, let me just pop in just pop in to see because bargain books has incredible sales uh, where you can get things like three for 150 so i did pick up three for 150 and that was a hey, i will tell you i will tell you i will tell you okay the three for 150 that I picked up are these. And then the other two, one of which is upstairs, which is what I'm currently reading right now, uh, were a little bit more than 150. So these three, these three were 150. I'm not gonna give you the synopsis because I really just don't know. I read it at the time and then I was just like, okay. Okay, that's cool. Uh, this sounds good. And of course, knowing me, I'm always gonna pick up thrillers. So the first one that I picked up was uh, Cat Alice's Cat Alice's Hero Lake, uh, which is about a girl called Laura who knows Hero Lake. Her father directed Nightjar, the cult horror movie that was filmed there. She knows about the caves beneath the fairground, the sunken graveyard blah 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 but she doesn't know about the dark past that the town hides or the secrets that it holds about her family now she finds herself there and searches for answer answers someone or something that is stalking her every move first and foremost we love the cover it says 100 bucks but i picked them all up for 150. secondly we love the cover but also secondly we love the sprayed edges okay okay and then the other one i got is called the lost house guest by megan miranda and uh it says a year ago Avery's best friend say was found dead dashed on the rocks of 
uh, night of the infamous end of summer party. To Avery's disbelief, the police quickly rule out Sadie's death as a suicide. A year later, new evidence surfaces that suggests that she was murdered. Evidence that places Avery under suspicion. Grief-stricken and ostracized, Avery must clear her name before she is branded a killer. We love it. Um, not crazy about the cover. I mean, sure, sure. Seems like a standard cover to me, sure. I mean, I like... Nah, actually, it's a nice cover. <laughs> the next one is something of a fantasy a little bit, I think. Uh-huh. Because it's got magic and monsters. I'm trying to get into fantasy. I think I spoke about it in my last vlog where I was re looking at um, showing you the new books that I picked up. Um, so this one is from Catherine Arden and it's called The Winter of the Witch. And uh, it says Moscow is in flames, leaving its people searching for answers and someone to blame. Vasya, a girl with extraordinary gifts, must flee for her life, pursued by those who blame their misfortune on her magic. Then a vengeful demon returns, stronger than ever. Uh, determined to engulf the world in chaos, he finds allies among men and spirits. Mankind and magical creatures alike find their fate resting on Vasya's shoulders, but she may not be able to save them all. So, sounds good. Sounds good. That's what that one looks like there. An author that I'm deciding to give another shot is Sally Rooney. I don't know why I'm deciding to give her another shot because I really didn't like normal people. But apparently, conversations with friends went down a lot better for a lot, a lot more people who didn't really like normal people, but conversations with friends went down a lot more better. So, um, one thing I really love about this is that it's got punctuation marks, full stops, commas, that kind of thing. Uh, whereas normal people kind of didn't. It was really hard to, to read that and think, oh my God, a comma must go here. Uh, so this is, yeah, it's Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. Francis is a 21-year-old, cool-headed and observant, a student in Dublin, Dublin and an aspiring writer. At night, she performs spoken word with her best friend, Bobby, who used to be her girlfriend. Mm, we love it. LGBTQIA+. Uh, when they are interviewed and then befriended by Melissa, a well-known journalist who is married to Nick, an actor, they enter into a world of beautiful houses, raucous dinner parties, and holidays in Brittany. Brittany. Uh, but when Francis and Nick um, unexpectedly get closer, the sharply witty and emotion-averse Francis is forced to honestly confront her own vulnerabilities for the first time. This sounds really nice. Multiple characters that we're going to be looking at. I'm assuming maybe multiple POVs. Nah, probably not, uh, because it is following Francis. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, but the cover, I really like. The cover I really like. So that's pretty much all I get. I'll probably touch base later. If not later, tomorrow. If not tomorrow, next month. Who knows? <laughs> With me and my moods. I'm kidding. Uh, but I'm good. I hope you guys are good. Um, I'll pretty much talk to you all uh, later. If not later, tomorrow. Okay. Until then. Bye. Did my nails. But this time I really went, really just went general like a pink. Really, really kept it. I kept it simple this time because I really couldn't. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I really couldn't be bothered. What do you even mean? So anyway, I'm gonna go rest up a little bit. I need to finish editing a vlog that's supposed to drop this week. This one is gonna drop next week, so that's fine. And uh, yeah, work. <laughs> Getting all up in order. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, uh, good morning. It is morning. Well, it's almost 12. Can we talk about how my cup matches with my top? Really, really funny stuff. Um, I'm actually sitting on my uh, yoga slash gym mat um, because I was looking at all the stuff that I've got here. It's off here to the side and I need to just start packing these things away. Um, it's a few days later. I haven't vlogged for the last couple of days because it's just been... It was a Murphy's Law kind of week, and I really, <clears throat> um, but anyway, I'm better, I'm good now, I'm good today, so I wanted to come at you guys with yet another, this vlog is pretty much going to be filled with holes, um, not my, not my fault, not my fault, really, um, but I hope you enjoy it, 
it's just home stuff really it's things oh well two of them are my personal things but uh, the other stuff is really just home stuff body care you know blah 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 all that stuff um so i actually have to make this quick because it is 10 to 12 i'm going out on it on it with yeah i'm going out on a date okay um so i need to get ready for that um i should be ready by about one half past one so i'm gonna get this done really really quickly and then go and get ready i'm not gonna vlog that for obvious reasons uh but yeah if you follow me on instagram which will be here i'll show you my instagram account you get a lot of snippets of things that i hardly ever put in my vlogs so there you go follow me on there so um early on this week now i have a lot of glasses at home glasses but um my tumblers were actually just uh, i was getting annoyed because they're either cracked at the lip or they're cracked on the inside or whatever so i really needed to top up on my tumblers and whiskey glasses so that's what i'm going to show you now pick those up from at home and then the other day i'm sure earlier on in this vlog there was another discam haul that i must have showed you the other day i had to go back to discam because there are certain things for my bathroom that i needed which i'll show you as well and then the other two things are actually shoes now i haven't bought myself shoes in a while and i was walking past the store and i saw the shoes and i was just like um but no what do you even mean bro no bro i need these shoes though bro uh and a pair of sunglasses and then the other uh, box of shoes again was a gift from the person that i should be getting ready for right now anyway so i'm gonna show you what I got, the sunglasses are over there. I'll go and pick them up. Um, but yeah, let me show you what I got so I can quickly get out of here. So, from, you can see it, right? Dangerous, dangerous. So from at home, I picked up the glasses. And, oh, there's some candles as well in here from Mr. Price because I did pop into Mr. Price as well. You know, I always, I always, always, always get candles from Mr. Price. I've told you why I have these candles, so I keep burning, oops, I keep burning them next to my coffee that time. Anywho, so I keep burning them because, yeah, we're still in a Panasonic, you know? Um... So I picked up some glasses, I picked up whiskey glasses, I picked up four tumblers and four whiskey glasses. Um, I will go back and pick up some more, they just didn't have enough at the time, but they did say that they are restocking. So these ones are the small ones, these are the whiskey, these glasses are incredible, so my kind of glasses. They are whiskey glasses, they are heavy sturdy thick uh, they're not light and flimsy which was the case with my previous um tumbler and the whiskey glasses they were the crystal shape but this is what these ones look like look at that look at her how is she not just gorgeous i see myself drinking the gin out of this hey i see myself just and drinking it so these went for 69 rand for one so i picked up four so 7 14 21 28 so 280 uh for the four but i am gonna go back because i wanted it to be six six so i will go back uh this week the lady did say that they are going to um bring some more of these so i'll probably just wait and go back and then i bought the very same thing Bought the very same thing, just taller. This time I bought the in here in this box here. I got the tumblers, and these are great for cocktails, for gin as well. They also actually have the gin glasses in these. So very same thing, just a little bit taller. Absolutely stunning. What do you even mean? And they're heavy. They're heavy. They're sturdy. I know somebody's probably going crazy like that. Stop shaking it around. Stop in it girl i will never break this and yeah you can make cocktails in this i actually like that on the cover of the box you can actually see that you know you can make a nice cocktail a nice mojito 
So I'm going to definitely go back. And these were 79 Rand for one. So 8, 16, 24, 32. 320. So, yeah. We love it. That's what I got from at home. Really not much. Just got the glasses. Oh, sorry. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. So I got the glasses from at home. Uh, I'm going to keep them in there because Tandy is coming tomorrow, so I'm going to ask her to just wash them for me and all of that. I won't have the time today, so otherwise I would have done it myself, really. Um, and then from Discam, you know how you always go into Discam and you forget what you're in there for, but you come out with a bunch of stuff, but you forget what you're in there for, and then when you get home, you're like, oh, I forgot mouthwash. Uh, and then you step into your shower like, oh, I forgot to buy the sponge for... That's exactly me. So, uh, mouthwash, very, very important in my life. I got this big one, the 751, uh, which was an extra value pack. So I got it uh, slightly cheaper than it normally would be. Uh, I like the Listerine one, either this, the blue one, or the Clean Mint one, this one. Um, the blue one seems to be just too strong for my mouth. So I think I prefer this one. So I picked that one up bunch of water in here because have you met me have you met me but the other things were basically things for my bathroom which i really need so for my shower picked these up these loofers sponges what do they call these things uh mesh bath sponges pick that up um not only that i also picked up the body refreshed by uh, body refreshed by color these are uh, bath gloves I use bath gloves again as well in my shower. I, I just hang them in there and I, and I use them on my body for days where I just want to exfoliate, which is like three times a week. Uh, then I picked this up, which is from a brand called Clean Logic, the dual texture uh, body exfoliator. I think it works very similar to the gloves. Again, you just um, attach it. I think the back part, yeah, you can attach it to your hand and do this. So that's pretty good. Want to try that one out? Um, okay. So I had to go and buy extra vaslaps, and I normally get uh, gray. And then for my face, um, I just bought these muslin cloths from Discam as well for days where I am washing my face, cleansing my face, taking off makeup, washing my face, but I also want to wipe my face with something that's a, a little less abrasive than this. So I picked that up. These two white ones from uh, Discam, Discam brand. Easy. And then this, the other stuff that's in here is for grown people. I'm sure you can imagine what it is. If you're not imagining it, then... Please don't make your problem my problem. <laughs> if you're not imagining it, please don't make... I mean, get to the baba hole, guys. The shoes that I saw on the... I think, either way, from Aldo. These shoes I'm going to wear today. But these shoes I saw walking past Aldo. I uh, just come from the eye store because I'd gone to go um, re-exchange my uh, adapter, which was faulty whatever then they gave me a new one so i was walking past aldo and i saw these shoes and i thought oh, we're going into some of these are so beautiful um and i thought to myself i haven't bought myself shoes in a while so what i'm going to do today is buy myself some shoes very simple but very me as well so this is uh the oh, what, do you, what, what do they call this and i actually don't have a nude painted shoe and this one is a square, um, what do you call it, square tip. You know how some of them are pointed, and then this one is square. The name of the shoe, just in case you want to go have a look at it, is the Freelian. Freelian shoe. And I picked up a size 3. This is a UK, UK 3. Euro 36, UK 3. That's what it looks like. Very, very cute. Very cute. And it is strapless. It's a little chilly today, but listen. I want to go strapless. But yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like. Really pretty shoe. Really, really pretty shoe. Love it. Love it. The heel is actually, it's not even, the heel is actually not even that bad. Quite comfortable. Um, so yeah, let me just take them out of the box. 
one time. I might just show you uh, before. I've already showered and everything, so I might just show you once I have my outfit on. I will be wearing my black uh, faux leather pants and something black, and yeah, the shoes will be the break in color. Um, yeah, I might show you what I wear afterwards at the end of this vlog. I might close out this vlog with that. And then the other shoes. Thank you. What else can I get from Aldo? The sunglasses. So I got these from Aldo. I was wearing them yesterday. These reminded me of the Zara ones that I have. And they've been in my sister's car for a while now. And I really like the cat shape. But also a bit square, but filling the face. I love these kinds of sunglasses, especially for the summertime. Gonna have these on again today. Because, kitty block, Hadzi. You understand? I say kitty block. How do you can say it's just like, mm mm, mm, some puisa, some puisa, I'm famous, get famous. But I really like these. Um, my sister, I've been asking my sister to return the Zara ones. Still waiting. Uh, but I also like that they had the, the gold. Um, on the side there on the handles so really like them really really think they're proper they're cute so I picked those ones up and then the last pair of shoes that I got are sneakers and they were a gift <laughs> they were a gift there's a backstory to this whole thing um, yeah uh, when the last vlog you saw that the family had a party and whatever we were celebrating he came to the celebrations. The following morning, we went out to breakfast uh, with him and Dineo, my friend who's been featured on this channel for a while. And when we were sitting at breakfast, I was making like cracking jokes about his shoes and all of that. And um, there were diesel sneakers that he was wearing. And I was kind of making fun, poking fun at him about the, the sneakers. And then I went onto my phone and I looked at the sneakers. And I, just, I was like, oh, I actually don't even have anything from Diesel. Let me see, does Diesel have nice things? And then I saw this pair of sneakers. And then two days later, the rest is history. The sneakers arrived at my doorstep. So these are the babies. And if you know me, you know that I like All Star. You know that I like Chuck Taylors. So this is very Chuck Taylor-ishy for me, but much nicer much much nicer uh these are oh shit i don't know if they have a name Sast sastico mid lace just in case you're thinking of buying a new sneaker but pick it up you know um so yeah that's what they look like really really pretty can you focus on the shoe really really pretty i love this i would have worn this today but today is like a tate okay you just, just kind of dress up, you know, you gotta, I gotta do the loads. I'm really, really so, excited about that. I was so, so happy to receive those. That's pretty much it. I'm probably going to close off this vlog here because it was haul upon haul upon haul upon haul. I'm really sorry. I just had a really crazy week. Uh, maybe the next vlog will be full of the aesthetic content that you guys are used to on this channel. I'll, I'll make sure that it is uh, for now i'm gonna get ready it is 12 o'clock now yes it's five past 12 i have to get ready now like i have to get ready so i'm gonna go um yeah touch base with you guys later if not in the next vlog bye